Hi guys, this tutorial is to root Chinese version of Xiaomi Mi laser projector. A note of caution here, rooting of device will ward the warranty as well as chances of getting this device brick. So please use this at your own risk. Also this has been tested at particular firmware version with an embedded Android version which in this case is Android version 6.0.1 with a kernel version of 3.14.29 others may not work in order to get the root access to this device we'll be using hdmi port so as to communicate with this device to be specific hdmi input 1 port serves as a diagnostic port on this device the pinout for the hdmi breakout cable is as shown in the picture pin 15 is used to receive the data 16 is used to transmit the data and 14 is our VCC power supply which is used to uh, power up the device. Uh, we do have pin 20 which is a shield which purposes ground all across the connections. In addition to this we will be using a USB TTL model uh, uh, that's USB UART model in my case I'm using CP2102 we can use any of the USB TTL UART model in the market. I am using this because it, it gives an added advantage of having a USB connection as well as it has a 5 volts output which is used to uh, power up our device while we read write. The pinout and the connections is as shown in the picture here. This component can be easily purchased from eBay for very less. Once the device driver for CP2102 has been installed, make sure to check the port on which it has been mounted. In our case it is COM3 as well as make sure to check the port setting for the bits per second transfer rate to 115200. Another configuration change needs to be done is at PuTTY level for the connection. Here we need to establish a serial connection which is at COM3 port in my case with a speed of 115200. Software required for this purpose as well as the capacity of flash drive. If we are planning to take a full backup of the ROM before rooting, we need to have at least 3 GB of capacity of the flash drive. And the softwares are TWRP, Magix, uh, Tools, Software as well as the root checker which can be easily found at XDA forum. Alright, time to test our diagnostic cable. Plug in the UART model to the computer USB port, HDMI breakout cable to HDMI input 1 port, invoke PuTTY session, power up the device. Once everything is fine, you should see the screen scrolling. This shows that we established the connectivity to the device successfully. If in case you do not see any activities, try double checking the cables as well as try switching RX and TX points this may be one of the causes of no output all right guys the next step is to connect the usb thumb drive onto the back of usb 3.0 port of projector and connect a wired mouse onto the side usb port of projector boot the projector in the recovery mode so as to do this turn off your projector unplug it take your remote hold on ok button and back button at the same time while holding it plug in the projector this will start booting up the projector and bring the projector in the recovery mode once we are on the recovery mode we need to press enter on the keyboard of the computer so as to bring this uh, to the hash prompt other point of note is during this process if we happen to boot the system we got to redo the process again this applies to TWRP uh, application launch only all right let's see this one the system uh, booted in recovery mode now we need to press enter and here we go guys this is the key to the kingdom the next thing is we need to run some basic unix commands 
uh, we use busy box utility so as to run the unix commands we need to find out the place where our usb thumb drive is located onto this projector so as to copy the files from thumb drive onto the projector uh, there are two usb ports uh, sda1 sda2 we need to find out which port the usb thumb drive is located mount that port onto slash sd card mount point if you see this sda2 there is none sda1 there is one so mount this onto slash sd card mount point here we can access the files which are there on our usb thumb drive the next step is to copy the twrp software over to the projector and invoke or launch twrp application hi guys this is our recovery window let's launch the twrp application first thing first let's back up the rom i'd like to take a full backup better to be safe than sorry select all the partitions which you'd like to backup i'd like to take full backup select the storage where you'd like to have the backup done in my case i am doing onto the usb thumb drive depending on the speed of the thumb drive the backup timings varies it's around like 1.9 gb of backup for me it took less than a minute to backup complete rom once the backup is done we'll go further so as to install magisk and have a super user access onto this device all right the next uh, step in the process is to install the magic software uh, basically this need to be installed onto the system file system over this uh, projector by default the file system is mounted in a read mode so we cannot uh, install this software so what we need to do is we need to mount the system directory read write so as to write our magic software over this one this can be done multiple ways one of the ways i am going to show here is by using the mount uh, option button there uh, by default it's, this is not been checked so we are going to check this one select storage make sure that we are checking the internal storage only right uh, with this the system file system is mounted read write and we can write over this one the next step is to install the magic software use the install button over there go and use your usb thumb drive i'm using magic software 17.1 version uh, there are other versions available did not get a chance to test those one so let me know if you guys had success testing that one when you do this make sure that you check this option reboot after installation and swap to confirm flash all right guys there may be few errors which are in red uh, coming in the next window but we can ignore those ones because uh, those are just warnings uh, but uh, do not uh, affect any way as such so this installation of magic software is in progress uh, after this is done successfully the system will reboot uh, let's wait and watch all right the system is coming back up uh, once the system comes back up it may prompt us to install the magix manager uh, possibility it may or it, it may not uh, in my case it did not and sometimes it may ask and prompt for that if it doesn't we have the software in our usb thumb drive to be installed so i'm clicking that one this is a magic manager what i'm using which came over around like 7 with the 17.1 version which is 600 and i'm done with the install here we go guys we got the magic software now it's prompting to install the latest manager which is 610 no no harm in installing so let's go ahead installing this one all right it's going to download this and have it installed i'm going ahead doing this all right all set and done with the magic's manager installed 
now uh, here we go we got the magix manager installed the next step is to check uh, whether we got the root access uh, I had used the root checker software so as to check this one let's do the install for that one and see whether we gain access to the root All right. so here we go guys I'm going to install the root checker which is 641 version and we are going to see whether we got the root access to the device All right, here we go guys. We are done with the root checker. Let's launch this application and see whether we got the root access. All right, here we go. All right. Bingo. So here we go guys. We got the root access to the device and this device is now rooted the next step is we can have the tools installed on this one so as to get and gain control over putting custom softwares over this projector uh, the version of the tools I'm installing on this one is 2.15 which is the latest release as of today there may be updates coming for this one so I am going to install this one uh, let me go ahead installing these tools here we go guys so we are done with the install of the tools um, this gives us control over having our custom software as well as having additional components so as to have control over this one here we go we got the toolbox we got hdmi 1 input 2 uh, similarly we got 3 and av input right so we can directly launch the application from here let's open the tools in the tools we can have control about what the applications to be launched or freeze uh, we can have we can freeze the stock launcher lean back function and we can have third party application installed we can have control of the uh, engineering menu over this one Android setting and all those other menus basically it gives and opens uh, gates uh, so as to have full control over this projector uh, other option is let's check the root uh, as we had already done the root it's asking for the super user access here we go so we, 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 we had taken a full control so as to do the changes over this projector at our wish. Hope I help you guys uh, learning something and in future would like to make few more uh, videos like this so as to help the community. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you.